What's up, beautiful people? It's a uh, rainy, ended up being a rainy day in, in um, Fort Erie. So, I like poetry. Poetry is actually my escape from reality because when I write and when I'm doing freestyle, I don't really think about anything but the moment and being in the moment. Freestyling has actually saved my life many a times and educated people from assassins to cops to normal everyday street people just walking by and listening. The art form of connecting words to rhyme and to invoke emotion and to continue a tradition of a poetic soul and not for fame just for the need to just do it and just to escape unless you know how to do it or you're a poet you won't really understand and even if you're a writer you won't understand because you're not a freestyle writer and you're not a freestyle writer poet and just can write something down, just boom, and be okay with it and understand that's how it goes. So my favorite subject is love. It is a thing that I've been without since they killed my love in Romania. Uh, she was a nurse, she was beautiful, she had nothing. She had never even been to Bucharest. And um, she was just the kindest, sweetest soul. Wouldn't hurt a fly and she was training to be a nurse. And um, because I wouldn't DJ or entertain for the female cartel and go up under their wings so they could stick dancers with me who were really prostitutes, uh, they took my girl and uh, took her into the cartel. And then after I exposed she was in the cartel, they took her, they killed her. So, you know, that was in 2003, early 2004, since I've really ever, like, loved a woman. And I love women, like you wouldn't believe. So, once you take that from a man, He's going to do anything he can possible, as long as he's living, to shut you the fuck down. So, uh, I hope the rainbow is coming up on the um, video feed. So, here's to love. You know, and I like to say, what is it? People don't understand it. They think it's a nice handshake, meeting, saying some nice words in a club, seeing what you want to see and saying what you want to say and buying some nice drinks and getting a woman to think what you want her to think under the influence of booze or drugs or at a club or at a rave from day to day. It's the same thing. And people don't get it. And they don't want to hear this because men, you're probably one of the most guiltiest ones of it, of seducing women the way men do, psychologically telling them they're worth nothing mental games, making them feel they're fat when they're beautiful, making them feel like they're not worth anything when they're worth everything. The thing of love has gotten so mixed up and lost from what it is and what it's truly always been. This is my only religion that I found studying Jehovah's Witnesses, Judaism, Buddhist, whatever you want to call it. At the end of the day, there's only one God from above and below and next to you and me and everything that you see and you thought you could see and you think you know but you know nothing. It's that God of love. It's the expression of saying, feeling, living like you can step on the wind and thinking that you can and understanding that God's going to catch you if you really do believe that you can do this. So the God of love is about this. 
It's about a poetic soul letting go to let people understand what you really need to take hold of. Because the greatest love that God ever gave you is what I'm sitting on, what I'm breathing, what you're seeing is earth. She is the greatest gift to you and me, but you truly don't know what she's worth. She gives you air like your mother gives you milk from her breast when you were a newborn baby. She doesn't question, she just does it because she knows that you need it to stay alive. This is why they don't want me to speak. This is why they don't want people to see what I see through my eyes, to respect the mother the lover, the giver. She doesn't question anything, she just does. So when I get my feeling of going, and when I look on the ground at these stones, and I know there were ancient stones where you see these things where people think, oh, he's just some guy talking, sitting alone. I know where to go, I know what to do. No matter what's gonna to happen to me, I know she loves me. Because I try to be good to her in every way I can, even when I speak. Even if it's just one person getting educated about what life really is, what love really is, what she does with you without question. When was the last time you thanked Earth for the very breath that you have without conditions? Love without conditions. Unconditional love. That's what God gave to you and me and that's what earth passes on to you and your children and every little thing that you do. But men created a system that disrespects her, that destroys her, that tries to hack into her, drill into her, cut her down, abuse her, use her, rape her. Does it sound kind of familiar, women? What the society that we have grown up in does for you, me, and the children? In the spirit of Pablo Neruda, if you haven't read his poetry, I really can't tell you how expressive it is and how unified it gets you to feel one with her, the love, the lover, the one you've never seen that's always in front of you, the one you need no matter what you do, and you're never alone because she's always around you. So I say thank you, Earth, for guiding me, for giving me the breath that I breathe. Please guide me to that very special embodiment of you that understands me that can help me become a better man, to teach my brothers and sisters and understand how important it is to see what is and to understand what God really is from above and below. It is just love. It's not simple, it's very complex. And it's not buying a woman a drink in a club and then going to bed and telling her a bunch of things that what you know that she wants to hear because what you're a government agent and you have her file and you were told to profile her and knock her up and get a baby. See these Satanists and the men that do these wicked things to women, their days are coming to an end. This has nothing to do with love. It has to do with seduction and production of absolute evil that is the opposite of God. God is love. And that's it. I don't care if you're a Buddhist or a Jew or a Jehovah's Witness. If you don't get it, when the time comes and you don't get it, you're going to meet your end. So for all of you religious people that think you're special, judge yourself and look in the mirror. Take a good look. And when you take that good look deep into your soul, take hold of what you are and what you've done with your life. And then think about you're looking in that mirror at God and God is judging you and saying, what did you do with your life? Were you a good man? Were you good to your wife and children? Did you take time to make your brothers and sisters understand what the society 
and the government dare not want them to? How far have you gone to put your life on the line for love, for earth, for the things that really matter? What have you done? Are you one of those special ones? Well, I can tell you, I don't know if I'm one of those special ones. I always wanted to be one. And I'm doing my best to be one. And when I die and stand before whatever is, is, and is, and always will be, I can say I did this. Some nice poetry, put it up on YouTube. People can do what you want to do with it. You can think about it or you can hate it. You can get jealous of me because you can't do this. Or you can try to understand it and try to explain it to other people as best as you can. This is what being a real man is. This is why God made me who I am. Made me to understand and gave me the ability to make people comprehend complex things in simplicity. I am the chaos. Thank you for your time. As time unwinds on this beautiful lake and this day as the sun sets, as we all go on our way to another day, what are you going to do the next minute, the next second? None of it is promised for any of us. This is what I did. And I thank you, love, for everything that you've shown me. And for those beautiful, special, incredible ladies out there, keep being beautiful and strong. And no love will always go on. Peace. And to continue a tradition of a poetic soul and not for fame, just for the need to just do it and just to escape, unless you know how to educate people from assassins to cops to normal everyday street people just walking by and listening. The art form of connecting words to rhyme and to invoke emotion. Poetry is actually my escape from reality because when I write and when I'm doing freestyle, I don't really think about anything but the moment and being in the moment. Freestyling has actually saved my life many a times. And to do it or you are a poet, you won't really understand. And even if you're a writer, you won't understand because you're not a freestyle writer. And you're not a freestyle writer poet and just can write something down, just boom, and be okay with it. And What's up, beautiful people? It's a uh, rainy, ended up being a rainy day in, in um, Fort Erie. So I like poetry 